Hey there, folks. Welcome to another Train Sim World 2 video. Uh, as a lot of us know, Cane Creek recently came out, the newest North American route uh, for Train Sim World 2. And I've done a couple of videos looking at the kind of poor base state it, uh, it was released in. But someone has already stepped up to the plate and started modding this to, to try to make it a bit better. And that's what we're going to be taking a look at here. Uh, now, he's got it titled the Cane Creek Subdivision Logo Patch, but it is so, so much more than that. This is by a guy named NGC, who has made several other really damn good mods uh, for Train Sim World and Train Simulator Classic as well, I think. But anyway, we're going to be going over a couple of things. Uh, most notably, the, uh, the traffic sound that makes me personally rage on the inside when I hear it that... You know, some of you may have heard that. Um, he has removed that. He muted the highway noise, appearing in random places extremely loudly in remote locations. So that's gone. No more of that crap. Uh, the rolling stock, um, these, I mean, these are obviously wrong, these, these rock hoppers we got here. Um, this is not what the uranium uh, spoils travel in. But anyway, he is, uh, he's taken the actual load that's dumped in it and made it look more like mud or, or kind of a, a slurry, which is what it actually looks like. They say it's like a pudding, apparently. Uh, but, it, but by default, it was kind of gray, like gravelly looking, which is not right. So he fixed that as well, made it look actually like dirt, you know, because it is dirt. Uh, now the AC-44, what we're looking at here, he's done quite a few things to... Um, he replaced the horn with a K3LA. Uh, he fixed the exhaust stack texture. Go ahead and take a look at that. Nope, oh, we're stuck in there. Apologies for the excellent camera work. So that is now fixed. It's just black, gray, sooty exhaust stack. No more weird paint that was there. Um, he fixed the rear headlight being neon yellow. Now, I don't remember that. Um... I don't think I ever turned it on, but that's that's cool, nonetheless. GG. That's awesome. Poggers. Uh, he made the front headlight gray to match the prototype photos. It's kind of hard to tell. We'll get out in the light here in a minute. We're doing a, a loading here while the sun's coming up in Moab, and damn, that is pretty. This this map, there's, there's no doubt about that. That is not the issue with this, you know, new add-on at all. But anyway, um... He added a gray underframe stripe, as seen on prototype photos. Does look better. Uh, he fixed the corner step plate texture. So he may be talking about that, possibly. Maybe like the diamond plate? Let's check the back here. Ah, we're stuck! Damn it. Let me go. Let me free. There we go. Gotta love that Trains in World Free cam. Yeah, I don't know exactly what he's talking about with that. But anyway, he fixed the locomotive designation that, you know, because a lot of us know this is essentially the, uh, the 4400 from Sam Patch Grade, right? And they left... Uh, <laughs> the old CSX designation, which was CW44AC, he has fixed that to the Union Pacific designation, which is C44AC. Uh, as as you can tell as well, he's added the uh, the GE logo, which is very nice. Uh, a couple of the things, um, Nor Air Brake, Alstom, uh, added those logos. Um, yeah. So we'll, we'll hop in here. It's it's a plethora of stuff, and apparently he's going to keep updating it um, from what I last saw. So we'll get in here and check the horn out. All right, here we go. That is amazing. That is flat amazing. That sounds 9.7 trillion times better than the default... Uh, hot dumpster garbage uh, that came with this. That alone is why this pack is awesome. 
We'll do an exterior. You know, it kind of sounds the same, but I, I don't want to nitpick on this because when somebody takes it, you know, into their own volition to mod stuff and make it better for themselves and the community, you know, it, it's it's hard. But but when something is sold, you know, from like Dovetail, say, and yes, Skyhook made it, and there's just massive glaring issues, that's a totally different story. We'll see what it sounds like down here. K3LA. Dude, that sounds way better. It's still got that, um... Oh... I guess... It's the Unreal Engine. It's still got that Unreal Engine sound, but it's still way better than default. We'll start loading some of this aggregate here and, and run towards us. Now the bell is the same as far as I can tell. Also I like to add that the uh, the sound that you're now hearing that is not the default sound of the, uh, the prime mover and exhaust and all that. That is a sound that's been ported uh, from the CSX engines, which I don't know if it's on Train Sim Community yet, but I will check and uh, link it, of course, if it is. But anyway, it makes it sound a lot more legit. It doesn't have that super high-pitched whine that uh, this is not normal sounding. Oh, man, that is so much better. This guy. This guy. NGC. Wow. Start filling this stuff here. I, I want to fill these cars up so we can see what the, uh, the actual aggregate looks like in the back here. See it dumping there. So yeah, that is fixed. It's not gray anymore. It's not, you know, just gray. It, it looks like dirt. It looks like, you know, muddy dirt, which is kind of what it is. See what he did on the inside here. Bam, loco cam. <laughs> That's cool. So he added that, got the Alstom. Go ahead and tie it down right here. GE integrated function display right there. Let's see if I missed anything. Now he put the NOR uh, logo on that, that K. So that's new. Just awesome, man. Just awesome. Alright, so anyway, that is the 44 Hundo. Uh, he has not only patched that, uh, he also patched the SD40-2, which is what we're going to check out now. Now, I have another mod in the SD40-2 that's got a, a sound mod that's very, very excellent compared to default um, from a guy named Griggs that uh, I don't know if that's on Train Sim Community or not, but I will link that as well if I can find it. Uh, but I don't know if it's going to have a an issue, you know, mixing with this new mod. So we'll we'll check that out and see what happens here. Still sounds normal. Let's see. Uh, it kind of sucks that the dash two has got all these super late or super early um, services. It'd be nice to have it, you know, swapped out with the the 4400s you know just have like three or four of these suckers um all right let's do i don't want to be too dark i want to be able to see stuff yeah we'll do that one all right so you'll notice when we load in uh you won't hear that crazy traffic sound 
And to be honest, I don't know if that only happened for the 4400 or if it happened for the Dash 2, but I noticed it more for the 4400. But uh, we'll see. In just a moment, when it loads. No traffic. That's mega. That is mega. We'll get set up here. We'll run just a tiny bit. We're not going to go too far. But, uh, you know, luckily, like with all modders and with Train Sim World and Train Simulator, you know, should it be decent out of the box? Yeah, it definitely should. It shouldn't be left to the modders, but thank God someone, you know, does something about it, you know. Pardon that. But it's, uh, it's nice that somebody takes it upon themselves. So we've got the EMD logo. Let's see, so he's got the EMD, Pulse, Motorola. Um, those are the logos that we should have here. Yep, says Motorola. There's our Pulse train link. And the EMD badge, of course. That's awesome, man. That is awesome. Uh, he removed the U.S. flag decal, CSX Pacific, and brightened up the UP Shield logo. Uh, and he also replaced the horn with a K3LA, like the 4400, so we'll test that out now. That is a pretty damn good horn, I gotta say. That's that's mega. I'm I'm stoked. It it makes it better. It's mo better now, which uh, you know is obviously a good thing. But uh, people are working on stuff, thankfully. So you know this is this is what we got right now, and for this to come out as soon as it has um, that is pretty flippin' awesome. Um, thank you once again to the modders that, that actually do stuff, but uh, but people are making other stuff. I think there's gonna be some some hoppers with the actual reporting marks and stuff like that since these all say DTG. Uh, I believe someone's working on that and there's no telling what else we might see, but uh, hopefully it continues. But uh, that's it, guys. Just wanted to show you this mod uh, by NGC that's that's working on. I think it's I think it's 1.0, but there might be a 1.1 coming or or something like that. So just uh, go check out the link in the info underneath uh, the video itself, and you'll be able to go right to it and check it out for yourself. But uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.